जी हाँ आप अपनी स्क्रीन पे देख सकते हैं कि हम पाव लैंडर मॉड्यूल प्रधानमंत्री जी सर वी हैव अचीव सॉफ्ट लैंडिंग ऑन द मून इंडिया इज ऑन द मून In a defining celestial moment, India joins the ranks of the United States, Russia and China. The moon, a silent witness to millennia of earthly tales, now bears the footprints of Chandrayaan-3, which embarked on a 40-day lunar voyage from Sri Harikota on 14 July. For 14 earthly days, equivalent to one lunar day, Chandrayaan-3 will unravel the secrets of the moon's southern pole. a region shrouded in eternal mystery and shadow this isn't just any landing it's a debut near the lunar south pole a testament to india's audacious space dreams and unparalleled technical mastery recall chandrayaan 1 it whispered of water on the moon back in 2008 yet there were bumps along the journey chandrayaan 2 faced a setback in 2019 But resilience is woven into India's fabric. At the dawn of a new space age, nations are racing to the moon. India is not just running, it's leading. By signing the Artemis Accords, it solidifies bonds with space giants, taking wisdom from the US and joining hands with France, Japan and Australia. This isn't just exploration, it's also about innovation, cost-effectiveness and leadership. And the cosmos beckons beyond the moon. Aditya L1 will soon dance with the sun, and Gaganyaan is prepped to ferry India's first crew to space. The message is clear: India is a formidable force in the cosmic arena. I would like to address all the people of the world. people of every country and region india's successful moon mission is not just india's alone this success belongs to all of humanity yet the stakes transcend pride chandrayaan 3 success can supercharge india's economy from water recycling marvels in the ISS to the global embrace of Starlink space endeavors have amplified earthly lives the space economy ballooning at an astonishing pace holds promise and with india eyeing 13 billion dollars sliced by 2025 the stars might just be aligning gaze at the moon tonight it's not just a celestial body it's a canvas of dreams minerals potential human habitats and perhaps the next phase for isro's planetary exploration india is not just looking at the stars it's among them